This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at retrosynthesis. In this example, we'll outline the steps involved in the retrosynthesis of butanone starting with an alkene. So working backwards, butanone can be made from butantuol. This is an oxidation reaction using the oxidizing agent acidified potassium dichromate. Next, butantuol can be made from 2-bromobutane. This is a nucleophilic substitution reaction using sodium hydroxide. 2-bromobutane can be made from butuene. This is an addition reaction using hydrogen bromide. So as we saw from the previous example, retrosynthesis involves planning a synthesis backwards by starting at the product, which is called a target molecule, and taking it back one step at a time to simple available starting materials, which are called precursors. In the previous example, the target molecule was butanone and the starting material was an alkene. Precursor 1 was butantuol and precursor 2 was 2-bromobutane. Two 